canoeist Lisa Dehart here, Three Minutes with a Main Guide. I shot this in the fall. One of my favorite tarp shelters dates back to the French and Indian War. Enjoy. Okay, so this works best if the tarp is square, like an uh, an eight by eight, a ten by ten. Mine's not square. It's like an eight by nine or an eight by ten, but it still works good. Here we go. So, at chest level, a lot of people do this too high. It's a shelter. It's supposed to be cozy. Don't put the point way the heck up there. So we're going to tie a bowline on a bite at chest level. Okay, so then you're going to go back to the opposite corner with a nice steak. You're gonna pull this tight. And I like to have a loop, a big loop, when you tie the bowline onto this end, so you never have to undo the loop. You just put it through the big loop that made the bowline. We're gonna run it right into the ground like that. Sink it to the ground. Now we're gonna wing out the sides and do a stake there. Same thing through the nice big loop. Weather moves. Storms clock around. The only time weather doesn't move is when is in Hollywood, where they just make it rain and rain and rain in the same spot. Wind blows. Weather moves. And if you do the typical envelope shelter, instead of the diamond, you're going to pick at the, at the end of that night, at the end of that storm, whether your feet are going to be wet or your head. With these big wings that I'm staking out, you never have to make that terrible choice. So here goes, bam. Then you're going to take something soft or something covered and you're going to put it in and use the seam. If there's a seam, make sure it rests on the seam. And that, ladies and gentlemen, canoeists, is one of my favorite shelters. It's a diamond shelter. If you I hope that gives you some ideas for just a quick shelter you can take refuge in. Um, I love the comments. People are sending me pictures of paddle sleeves they made and they're working on wanigans. And before we know it, that's gonna be melted and those canoes are gonna be out there. I'm Lisa Dehart and you've just spent three minutes with a main guide.